he didn't wash his whole trunk. Whole trunk. You hear what I just said? All this parking. I mean, does it just come with being a fucking day cabber? I mean, I day cabbed and I got back into sleeper work because I fucking hated it. But What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Truck stop fuel island shenanigans again. Again, it just don't stop. The shenanigans just don't stop when it comes to being in the fuel island. You can see everything that happens in the fuel island. In this clip right here, a couple of clips. I, I think I got two clips for you. This one and another one. But in this first clip that we're going to check out, the person behind the camera, as always, is upset because of what somebody else is doing in the fuel island. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I want y'all to look at this bullshit right here. This dude sitting in a fuel island in Florida. You know how hard it is to get fuel over here? How long you gotta wait in the line? He didn't wash his whole truck. Whole truck. You hear what I just said? Will we use the wipe out windshield wipers with? He ain't worrying about nobody behind him. He ain't worrying about nobody trying to get no fuel. He just came here and washed his whole goddamn truck. Look, look, look. Think of the game? Now he's gonna finally wash the windows with after he washed everything. He washed his tires, everything, rims, everything. Everything. Man, look. I think I'm getting a little bit too old to be out here because I be feeling like doing something. You feel what I'm saying? I be feeling like doing something, y'all. What you going to do, driver? You you ain't going to be doing nothing, driver. You, you, you're not going to be doing nothing. You're going to do the exact same thing that you're doing right now, and that is sitting in the fuel island, wasting time, mind you, because you're in the fuel island around the same time that this gentleman is in the fuel island, too. While he's over there doing the shenanigans, you're over here recording him doing shenanigans. So, in essence, if there's other drivers behind you, aren't you holding up the fuel island too? I mean, you worried about what's going on in the next fuel island. You worried about this dude cleaning his whole truck. And here you is doing a whole video about it. Hmm. Drivers, let me know about that in the comments below. I mean, am I uh, y'all y'all seeing what I'm seeing, right? And he's complaining about the driver, you know, doing driver shenanigans in the fuel island. But in essence, is the driver that's recording, would you consider him doing driver shenanigans? By recording this young man? I mean, think about it. He is holding up the fuel island long enough so he can get this on video, upload it, and get it out there for us to enjoy. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about that. In this clip right here, you know, they're not in the fuel island. But this gentleman wants to know about day cabs what is the difference about day cabs out here what is the difference no more wasting time let's get it hold on y'all want to see the difference between a fucking day cabber and a sleeper driver look at all that parking i'm sitting here eating my lunch right sorry if the video quality is kind of shit but this motherfucker right here day cabber Pulls off the fuel island. He's probably been sitting here for I don't know how long, but he's fucking off. And he's fucking, he's clearly taking his 30. And we got all this parking. I mean, does it just come with being a fucking day cabber? I mean, I day cabbed and I got back into sleeper work because I fucking hated it. But like, does it just come with being a fucking day cabber? Like, it just being a fucking lazy piece of shit. I don't know. I just want to know. I hope this guy gets TikTok famous because he's a fucking idiot. I mean, I'm so sick of these fucking drivers. I got five more years and I'm fucking done. 
This is why. I can't even be passionate anymore because I deal with stupid fucks. If it ain't four-wheelers, it's these motherfuckers. Anyways, have a good day, y'all. Why does it bother you? Why Why does that bother you, driver? Let, let me break it down for you, okay? He's a day cab. He's parked off to the side. He, number one, he's not in the fuel island. So I don't even understand why you even had to question that. Number two, he's not infringing you. He's not in front of you. He's not blocking you. He's not doing nothing at all. He's minding his business. Something that a lot of you drivers need to do. I mean, a lot of you drivers really need to mind your own business because sometimes the business that y'all put yourselves into really not really don't need to be your business at all. Like the driver is off to the side doing his 30 or doing whatever, whatever he's doing. He's not bothering you though. But here you are being bothered. And why? Why? The truck stop doesn't belong to you. You're not, you don't work for the truck stop. So you sitting in your own truck worried about another driver that's not even near you and you wondering why he's not parked in the parking spots in the back clear as day there's you know there's he don't he's not bothering nobody he's not hindering nobody as you say he pulled out of the fuel island he's he got out of the way give him credit for that I mean, majority of you guys like the last video, y'all crying about somebody doing something in the fuel island, i.e. washing his whole truck. And here you are complaining about somebody not even being in the fuel island. I don't get it. Make up you guys' minds on what y'all want to what y'all want to complain about. Five years and you're gone. I don't even understand why it even bothers you. Now, I can understand if you talk about if he came over, he pulled in front of you, you went to knock on the door, you asked him to get out the way, and he was just being the dick. In this case, he's not even doing that. He's not even near you. He's not even around you. But yet you felt it in your power to get your camera and, and record a TikTok so you call yourself making him TikTok famous, which completely backfired because the comments, the comments is going crazy. I wish I can bring it up, but the video got taken down. Drivers, let me, let me know, man. I mean, to me, me, it's just a lot of drivers that be so nosy and be in so many, so many businesses that I, I truly think that doesn't, that they don't belong in. Why are you bothered? Let me know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound.